Hello and welcome to our event, and today I'm going to tell you three more reasons why you still have artist block. So reason number one, maybe you simply don't have enough life experience. Because we spend so much time in school that by the time we're done with it, we know that we're supposed to paint. We know we're supposed to be in studio as painters. So we get into studio, we set up a still life, and we just spent months working on these kind of useless paintings that are about nothing because you want to paint but you don't have subject matter so the number one thing to help that and i'm going to keep saying this over and over and over again on this channel is you need to have life experience to paint about so if you like landscape then go into the landscape spend time there not just a weekend like a month and really understand what it is you are what it is about this landscape that moves you and how you can capture that and how you can translate that to your audience so basically if you want to have something to paint about something to paint subject matter then go and live a life that's exciting to you so you can paint about it okay point number two don't be scared to go over the top with your subject matter. Don't feel timid. Don't feel like I'm going to be a clown if I go all out and make Amazon green paintings. As an emerging artist that's not sure of their subject matter, you need to go all out. You need to be known for this one thing. With time, you will refine it and it will feel more natural. Because look at the artists that you are looking at. They're so recognizable. You are not looking at some plain Jane painter. You're, you're not because they're not moving to you. You're looking at people with a distinct style. And with a distinct style, you will feel like a caricature of yourself. You will feel like I only paint this subject matter and that's what I'm known for and that's what I'm boxed into. That's fine. Just do that. With time, you will refine it and you won't feel like that anymore. But you need to start somewhere. Point number three. Don't copy other artists. It's an easy way out. Because if I paint paintings like Cezanne for the rest of my life, and if the paintings are shit, then it's Cezanne's style, Cezanne's paintings that are shit. Not mine, so I don't feel as bad. Because there's only one Cezanne. Because Cezanne was brave. Because he painted in his own style. Because he painted how he liked. And other people are now copying him. So that's the level you want to get to. You want to have a style that's so unique, so individual, so your own, that yes, it's inspired by other people, but it's only yours. 